I'm here today with the Alpine Electric Trike. Today I want to talk about safely mounting and dismounting the trike and also I'll give you some critical measurements such as seat height from the floor and also the frame height so you can determine whether the Alpine Electric Trike is going to be suitable for your mobility needs. The step through height of the trike, so the bottom of this frame, is 27.5 centimetres from the ground. That's about 11 inches and that is this dimension here from there to the ground. So if you're mounting the trike you've got to be able to lift your foot by 27 and a half centimetres or 11 inches from the ground in order to step over the trike. The first thing to do when safely mounting the trike is apply the handbrakes. So it's these small levers just here which is how you apply the handbrake. So the handbrake is applied simply by pulling the brake lever back and clicking the handbrake on. And same on this side as well, brake lever back, clicking the handbrake on, and then the trike isn't going to move anywhere. Now, I've already put the handbrakes on on this trike, and as you can see, it isn't going anywhere. So you put those on, that way, as you're getting on and off the trike, the trike isn't going to move or run away with you, or if you're mounting the trike and you're on a slight slope or a hill, it's safe to do so with the handbrakes on. So when mounting the trike, once the brakes are applied and the trike isn't going to move anywhere, you can either step through and sit on the seat, or if you have trouble doing that, you can move the pedal down, you can step on the pedal, and you can use the pedal to sit on the seat as well. Now, something else that you must always consider is you always want to have the trike in the rigid locked frame position when mounting because if it's on the tilt function, it's very easy to overbalance. So it's just a, a safety feature. Always have it on lock and always turn the electrics off as well so it, it won't run away with you. I mean, it shouldn't anyway because the brakes will be applied, but it's just an extra safety feature that I would recommend. So this lever right here activates the tilt function on the electric trike. And in order, it's in locked position at the moment. So you would just push it up and that would be in unlocked position. So once you're mounting the trike, always ensure that that lever is down and the bike is in locked position. Now this is the trike with the frame locked and this is the trike with the frame unlocked and in tilt mode. Now obviously you can see from this tilt mode that it wouldn't be very stable or suitable to get onto the trike while it's in that mode. So always mount the trike with the frame locked and then as soon as you get a little bit of momentum, you start literally three, four, five seconds into your ride, flick that switch over, and then you're in tilt mode, and then you can just ride it as you would do a regular bicycle. Now all Alpine electric trikes come with a suspension seat post, and it's the dimension from the top of the seat to the ground that I want to talk about next. It's 85 centimetres, that dimension, from the top of the seat post to the floor. That's 33 and a half inches. So you can measure yourself, and if you were to step on it, can you sit on that seat post with that dimension? If the suspension seat post height is too high for you, you could source your own seat post without suspension. As you can see, this one is slightly lower, and this measures 79 centimetres from the ground to the top of the seat post, and that's 31 inches. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, then we'd appreciate it if you could give it a like. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we've got loads of videos, not only about the trike, but we've also got them about our whole range of electric bikes, then click the button in the bottom corner of the screen and that will subscribe you to our YouTube channel. There you'll be fully updated on any new videos that we're uploading. If you'd like to get in touch with us because you don't think that we've quite covered everything in these videos or any of the video reviews that we've done, then you can do by giving us a call on the number that's coming up after this video or emailing us via the email address that's coming up after this video. There is a link in the notes of this video that will take you directly to the Alpine Electric Trike webpage on our website and there you can see more videos or photographs, reviews and the detailed specification for this trike along with delivery and international delivery information also.